Hello, and welcome to Community Engagement, Solidarity, and Citizenship. I am Armin Rose, and I will be your guide as we go through the concepts of this course. This is part four, citizenship. Citizenship is the relationship between an individual and a state to which the individual owes allegiance and in turn is entitled to its protection. Citizenship implies the status of freedom with accompanying responsibilities. Citizens have certain rights, duties, and responsibilities that are denied or only partially extended to aliens and other non-citizens residing in a country. In general, full political rights, including the right to vote and to hold public office, are predicated upon citizenship. The usual responsibilities of citizenship are allegiance, taxation, and military service. The idea of citizenship started in ancient Greece. Citizenship has elements of privilege that were earned, but for the most part, it was regarded as a form of property and a birthright. The assembly was open to all citizens. However, women and slaves are not considered citizens. The assembly controlled the basic decisions and each citizen has one vote. The bull is a representative council responsible for foreign affairs and civil defense. It consisted of 500 members chosen by lot and each citizen can expect to be a member at least once in his lifetime. It is controlled by the Prytaneus or a type of executive committee and the Epistatae presided as chairperson. The Greeks presented what is known as the ideal concept of citizenship. For Aristotle, citizenship was available only to those who can rule themselves, and this was not possible unless one would be able to rule over his household, which included the persons and things therein. The concept of citizenship extended into the Roman Empire. Rome provided an institutional reality of a society that worked for many centuries. Roman citizenship was based on categories. Patricians constituted about 10% of the population. They governed the people, owned large tracts of agricultural land, and controlled the magistrates. The plebeians are free men of lesser status. They have some standing in the community and merit the laws protecting their property person and honor. They have some access to magistrates and assemblies and are educated in Rome's moral code that stressed responsibility and service. However, both classes have a moral demand to serve their patria or country. A citizen knew who he was and his rights and responsibilities were clear. The Romans presented a concept of citizenship that is more real or based in reality. For Gaius, the world is divisible into persons, places, and things, and citizenship became a legal status that denoted a member of community defined by law. Citizenship carried with its rights certain possessions, immunities, and expectations. The Greek citizen ruled and was ruled in turn, which meant that he determined the laws by which he was bound. The Roman citizen could only appear to Caesar and had no involvement in the actual making of laws. Article 3 of the 1987 Philippine Constitution enumerates the Bill of Rights the right to due process and equal protection of the law, right from arbitrary arrest and unreasonable search and seizures, right to privacy of communication and correspondence, freedom of speech and freedom of the press, right to peaceful assembly and petition, freedom of religion, liberty of abode and travel, right to secure information from government records, right to form associations, right to own property, inviolability of contracts, right to a speedy and public trial, right against self-incrimination and right to counsel. 
freedom from torture, threat, or secret detention, compensation for torture and rehabilitation of victims and their families, right to bail, presumption of innocence, writ of habeas corpus, freedom of innocence, prohibition against death penalty and excessive fines, right to humane and adequate facilities, no imprisonment for failure of debt or poll tax, right against double jeopardy, right to vote and to hold office, prohibition of ex post facto law and bill of attainder. All citizens of the Philippines enjoy these rights as protected by the Constitution and the government. The ideas presented in this video are based on the most essential learning competencies of the Department of Education and the book Community Engagement, Solidarity and Citizenship by Reynaldo Padilla, published by JFS Publishing. Thank you for watching and see you in the next lesson.